In this video, we'll show you how to perform fixed blanking on the EasyScreen system. By now you've installed the EasyScreen system on your machine, you've placed your obstruction in the protected field, and now we're ready to set the dip switches. Open the access door on the receiver, leaving the top and the bottom dip switch alone, set the center four to the following arrangement, left, left, right, right. Now apply power to your system. You will notice in the display the letters PFA and then a number. Program fixed blanking accessed. And the number is the number of beams that your obstruction has in the light curtain. You'll also notice on the bar graph that it shows where the obstruction is. Now move the dip switches back to a normal run condition of trip off trip off. You'll now see that the display is changed to a PFC program fixed blanking complete. Cycle power or perform a valid reset. You should now have a dash in the display and your bar graph should show you where the obstruction is by blinking. You have now completed fixed blanking on the EasyScreen system. Configuring the EasyScreen LP for fixed blanking is the same as the EasyScreen. The only difference is the location of the dip switches. You'll be using the top four dip switches to set the configuration. If you're continuously moving your obstruction in the light screen, a much simpler way to do this is to use the remote fixed blanking capability. All EasyScreen LP cascade sticks have this functionality built into them. Simply turn the key and turn it back. Wait for the lights to stop flashing and your system will be programmed for remote fixed blanking.